Flowers, flowers, I'm selling flowers. Flowers, flowers. Good morning, Mrs. Mayara. Good morning. Fresh flowers, fresh flowers. Wow, that's a lot of money. I could even keep that money, but that would be theft. I don't do that. I need to give one to Mrs. Mayara. Mrs. Mayara, your money. Mrs. Mayara? Oh my God. Mrs. Mayara, your money. Mrs. Mayara. Mrs. Mayara, your money. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll take us to her house. Yes? Look, we don't want to buy any more flowers, okay? We have enough. I didn't come to sell flowers. I came to deliver something to Mrs. Mayara. She's not here. She'll be back very late. But if you want to leave a message for her, you can tell me and I'll give her the message. Oh, I wanted to deliver this. I also wanted to give her back her bag. How lucky that you found it. Mrs. Mayara was very worried about that money. Really? Oh, I'm so glad I found it. She'll be very happy. That's right. Then give me the bag and I'll give it to her. No, I want to give it to her personally. But you can't wait for her here. She'll be back very late. That's okay, I'll wait. No, girl, she won't be back until late at night. You can't stay here all day. Don't you have your flowers to sell? My flowers? See? I told you so. Oh my god, I left my flowers. With no one watching them. See? You're careless. You'd better give me that bag of money. I'll give it to Miss Mayara. While you go after your flowers? And who knows, maybe later. You can come back and talk to her? No, I'll deliver the bag myself. Bye. Look at that! That's all I needed. Also because Mrs. Mayara has a lot of money. She left this money in her backpack. And I'm sure there must be more in there. That backpack is gonna look nice. Oh no, oh no. My flowers aren't here anymore. Where are they? Heloisa, where are the flowers? Dad, they took the basket. I don't know where it is. How could you do this, Heloisa? Flowers are our only source of income. Dad, I'm sorry I went to deliver the money to Mrs. Mayara. Money? What money? Give me that bag. No, Dad, let go. Heloisa, give me that bag. No, it's Mrs. Mayara's. Let go. This bag has a lot of money. Dad, but it doesn't belong to us. It belongs to Mrs. Mayara. Listen here, girl. This belongs to whoever found it. So what? Since you've lost the flowers, let's use this to buy more flowers. Stop complaining. When blessings come, we have to be grateful. Thank you very much, Lord. Dad, but stealing isn't a blessing. Child, be quiet. You don't know anything. Dad, I already told you. This isn't right. We have to give the money to its owner. Quiet, girl. Now this money belongs to me. No, it's not yours. Heloisa, stop being silly. With this money, maybe I can even buy you a little present. Dad, I don't want a single cent of that money. That money isn't mine. I work to earn our own money. I don't need to take money from anyone. It's true. That money belongs to my boss. And since I work for her, you have to give it to me so I can return it to the person who has the right to it. Who do you think I am? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm going to give you the money so you can pocket it? Then let's do this. We'll split the money, everyone gets their share, and we don't talk about it anymore. I think that's a good idea. No, this money belongs to Mrs. Mayara. And you be quiet. With this money, we can buy many things. Incredible, because the only person who understood everything here was Heloisa, right? How nice, Mrs. Mayara, that you showed up. I came here to get the money to give to you. Oh, Beth, you think you're fooling me, don't you? I heard everything. I know all your intentions. What you wanted was to take the child's money from the start. I trusted you so much. Is your salary not enough? Yes, it is. Please, Mrs. Mayara, don't fire me. I'll think about it. As for you, give me back my backpack. Mrs. Mayara, look. My daughter was taking care of your money to give it to you. Unlike this viper who was trying to steal from you. It wasn't long ago that I gave you a good amount of money for you to take care of your daughter's education. The only thing you've done is spend it on gambling and don't you have any shame that your daughter has to work to support you? You need to understand that my daughter is very poorly behaved. She actually just wanted to take her money and keep it. I never took anything from you, ma'am. So, I think I'm a good father, and I'm raising her very well. Don't be mistaken. The fact that Heloisa is a good child, that's a blessing. Well, I think there's something else. How can we be sure that this is the lady's bag? Is there a name written on it, please? I've never seen it in the house. True! How will I know that this backpack is yours? It's very simple. It has my name on it. You can check. 
All right, it has your name. But do you agree with me that finders keepers? Ah, so you agree with me. If that were the case, all the money would belong to Heloisa? You're just an irresponsible and disgusting adult who wants to take advantage of a child. Heloisa, come here. Dictionary. Take your candy. Heloisa, all this money is to pay for your studies. Do you know why? Why, Mrs. Mayara? Because you deserve a future, as brilliant as you are. Really? Thank you so much, Mrs. Mayara. You are responsible for making all the payments, so that no one takes your money. Really, Mrs. Mayara? I don't even know how to thank you. Thank you very much. I'm the one who should thank you for being so honest. But now tell me, what do you plan to study? I want to be a doctor. A doctor? A doctor and a lawyer. Oh, then you'll have to study a lot. But look, first we need to think about finishing school, okay? And then we'll see which college you'll attend. Okay, Mrs. Mayara, it's the first time I'm going to study hard. That's great, my dear. I'm happy. You know, the profession you've chosen, I'm sure you'll be an excellent professional. Now I'm hungry. Shall we eat? Let's go. 